Question 1.1 consists of three data handling questions, two finance questions, and one probability question. You are given a table that shows the cost of school uniforms at three different stores. In the first column, you are given the type of clothing items to be purchased. The second, third, and fourth column list the prices of each item for store A, B, and C. You are also given an unknown value P that will have to be calculated. Note that there are two pairs of socks in each pack. In question 111, you are instructed to identify whether the prices given in table 1 are numerical or categorical data. Categorical data is data that can be divided into groups or categories like the different items that needs to be purchased, while numerical data is data that is measured or counted like the prices of the different items. Since the question asks you to base your decision on the prices given in the table, you have to say that this data is numerical data. In question 112, you are instructed to arrange all the prices given for store B in ascending order. Ascending order means that you have to arrange the data from the lowest value to the highest value. The arrangement will look like this. In question 113, you have to give the name of the store that sells the cheapest grey shorts. From the table, the store that sells the cheapest grey shorts is store B. In question 114, you have to calculate the price of a pack of white school socks at store C. From the table, we can see that at store C, white socks is sold at a cost of 85 rand 99 cents for 5 packs. So the cost of 1 pack of white socks is 85 rand 99 cents divided by 5 packs, and this equals a cost of 17 rand 198 cents. Rounding this value to 2 decimal places will give you a cost of 17 rand 20 cents. In question 115, you have to determine the missing value P if Martha bought all the school items as advertised at store A. The cost of all the school items at store A are listed in the second column in the table. The total cost P equals the sum of all the prices in column 2. This will equal a total cost of 1,251.50. In question 116, it is stated that the probability of selecting store C to buy all the school items is 0, 0,3 recurring. In question 116a, you are asked to define the term probability in the given context. Here the context part is important and just giving the general definition of the term probability won't get you the marks. You have to give the definition of the term probability with reference to the given context. Here the term probability can be defined as the chance of randomly selecting store C out of all three stores. In question 116b, you are instructed to write down this probability as a percentage rounded to the nearest whole number. Since the probability is given as a decimal number, you have to multiply it by 100 to convert it to a percentage. So the probability as a percentage is equal to 0, 0,3 recurring multiplied by 100 and this equals a probability as a percentage of 33,3 .3 recurring percent. Rounding this value to the nearest whole number will give you a probability of 33%. Question 1.2 consists of four finance questions that were designed to assess your understanding of investment options in the South African context. You are given two stock fail options, Plan A and Plan B, in Table 2. Plan A is a monthly fixed term plan for a period of 24 months. The monthly contribution for this plan is 2,500 and the total amount at the end of the 24-month period is predicted to be 74,286.84. Plan B is a once-off saving plan for a period of 24 months. It requires a once-off investment amount of 60,000 rand and the total amount at the end of the 24-month period is predicted to be 92,065 rand 71 cents. In question 1 to 1, you have to define investment in the given context. An investment in this context is the action or process of contributing money to a stock fail plan with the intention of earning a return on that contribution. In question 1 to 2, you are instructed to calculate the total contribution for plan A over a 24-month period. From plan A, the monthly contribution is 2,500 for a period of 24 months. So the total contribution equals 2,500 rand multiplied by 24 months and this equals a total contribution of 60,000 rand. 
In question 1, 2, 3, you have to calculate the interest earned if the person invests in plan B over a period of 24 months. From the table for plan B, the total contribution is 60,000 Rand and a total amount earned after 24 months is 92,065 Rand 71 cents. So the interest earned over the two year period is 92,065 Rand 71 cents minus 60,000 Rand and this equals an interest earned of 32,065 Rand 71 cents. In question 1 to 4, you have to determine how much more interest a person will earn investing in plan B compared to investing in plan A over the same 24 month period. For both plans, a total contribution of 60,000 Rand is required, but you will earn more money from plan B compared to plan A. So the difference in the total interest earned is 92,065 Rand 71 cents minus 74,286 Rand 84 cents. And this equals a difference of 17,778 Rand 87 cents. Question 1.3 consists of two data handling questions and one finance question that were designed to assess your understanding of compound bar graphs. You are given a compound bar graph that shows in cents per liter the price of three types of fuel in Gauteng for the first three months of 2022. In question 131, you are instructed to name the type of graph that is drawn above. The type of graph that is drawn here is a compound bar graph. In question 132, you have to identify the type of fuel that costs the most in February 2022. From the graph, the type of fuel that costs the most in February 2022 is 95 unleaded petrol. In question 133, it is stated that the price of diesel in March 2022 was 1,955 Rand 28 cents per liter. You have to write this price in Rand per liter rounded to the nearest 50 cents. There is 100 cents in 1 Rand, so 1,955 Rand 28 cents per liter equals 1,955 Rand 28 divided by 100 and this equals a price of 19 Rand 55 cents per liter. Rounding this value to the nearest 50 cent will give you a price of 19 Rand 50 cent per liter. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.